Most of my research focuses on the interaction between international trade, uh, agriculture, and environment. So I don't come at this from the point of view of an agricultural scientist who spent his career you know, working on getting these crops to market. Uh, and in that respect, I think I have a little less invested emotionally. Uh, in whether they succeed or fail. Uh, my only real interest is that uh, plant biotechnology not become an excuse for uh, restricting trade uh, that's of potential benefit to not only to our farmers in the United States, but especially to poor farmers in developing countries. The issue of global hunger uh, really relates not necessarily to the aggregate production, but to the local conditions affecting production, especially in the poorest developing countries, and how they can best be changed. And in that respect, I think plant biotechnology definitely has a role to play. The question uh, that has been raised in some quarters is whether or not transgenic crops are only for big, rich farmers. Well, I think the answer to that is no. And the reason for this goes back to the fact that the advantages of the technology are inherent in the seed. We have activity, scientific activity, in relation to plant biotech in approaching 50 countries, and there are at least 40 crops uh, in which this activity is uh, ongoing. It is an extremely powerful and important emerging technology, and it's going to play its role in part, uh, depending on the degree to which it can be made available, appropriate, and friendly, especially to poor farmers in developing countries. At the macro level, uh, the uh, impact of the technology is only beginning to be felt. Uh, in crop year 2003-2004, about $44 billion in crop value was being produced worldwide in biotech. So every year I would anticipate that that value figure will grow and biotech crops will uh, play a more and more important role in the global crop economy. There's been a rapid adoption of the technologies. I really have to conclude that whether you perform complicated academic analyses of these or not, that the best test of whether or not these technologies are beneficial to farmers is the fact that they have been adopted so quickly.